Hello, welcome back. This is my third tutorial on Source SDK Hammer. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make skybox and light environment. Okay, let's get started. First off, I want you to do is browse for the dev dev measure gen generic, whatever it's called. Then um, make a map 512 by 512. Then height, I want it 256 by 512. And then press enter. Then get your camera, go onto your top view, drag across, and then you'll be able to see your um your block that you've made of dev dev texture. Okay. Now what I want you to do, because what I taught you in the last one was how to hollow out, you press control H. This time I'm going to use the default which is 32 because it will work nicely in my map, keep it nice and uniform. As you can see, it's perfectly with the grid. Uh, perfectly with the grid. And when you go inside, it's hollow, and you can see. I'm going to change the texture of the floor to a nice grass texture. So go browse. Go grass. Whoops. I'm gonna go for this one. And click apply. As you can see, it's a nice grassy texture. Now what I want you to do is go down to your carve tool, carve it down the middle, and you want it so it, it's not red. If it's red, it's going to be deleted. So you want to make sure it's not red by clicking this button here. And click it as many times as you can until it's not red. Then you click enter. Now if you ungroup it by going tools, ungroup, you'll see now that the one piece the, not one piece, they're separate parts of your map. So what I want you to do is click, oh, actually first, click the roof. Then, actually no, not the roof, the ceiling. Then get your um, wall parts. Like so. And then drag them up. Like so. Okay. The reason why I dra um, dragged the ceiling up by itself is because look what happens if you drag the walls up and the ceiling at the same time. The ceiling actually gets thicker because it's not like that. It's not like you're dragging the walls up as well, so it's making the ceiling go bigger, basically thicker. So press Control Z under. Okay. Now, now you want to search for your uh, browse texture. Go browse, search sky box, and as you can see, there's loads and loads of textures of sky boxes. But the one we want is probably at the bottom, right there. Okay, there's a 2D version of it and a 3D version of it. We want the 3D version, so you click on that, click apply. Now, as you can see, it's gone to a blue texture with the word skybox on it. Okay, now I'm going to texture the walls, make it look nice. Um, we'll go for a rock. Um, we'll go for that one. Yeah, it's a nice um, wall texture. Okay, thing is now, you won't be able to play it, so you want to spawn it an entity. And that would, that's the terrorist at the moment. Let's move that somewhere there. But the thing is, you won't be able to see in your map. So what I'm going to do is I spawn another entity. I'm going to move it up to the middle. It doesn't have to be in the middle, but it has to be somewhere up high, like the sun, basically. I'm just going to move it in the middle because it makes it neat. Okay. Now you want to click, right click, properties. Then type in your box here, light. Then scroll down, you'll see light environment, click apply. And as you can see now, it's this little sun with light environment on it, okay? The thing is now, your, all, all your light's going to go directly downwards. There's going to be no shadow, shadows of the wall. So what you want to do, you want to double click on it, or click properties over here. Double click, go pitch and your rotation. That's the direction of which the sun's going to aim at. And as you can see, I've got a little pointer, like a sniper rifle. 
So then you click on the floor, that's where it's going to aim at. The sun will aim at there. Up there. So then there'll be a shadow here because the sun's going down this way. Okay. Now the thing is, the walls aren't really big enough, tall enough, because if you jump, you'll probably see over the wall and it'll be white. You don't really want that if you want a nice, tidy map. So what I'm going to do, select the bottom walls, like this, unselect that, move this up by about two. The thing is now, as you can see, the wall's overlapping the skybox. And you don't want that because it's going to make your map very laggy. Okay, so what you want to do now is select your skybox part. Whoops, like so. And drag them up. Whoops, wrong part. There you go. Okay, now this map you'll be able to play fine. I just spawn a CT by going entity tool, right click, scroll up a little bit and then you'll see info player counter terrorist, click apply, ok, I think he's, yeah he's turned around the wrong way, control, rotate, no, wrong one, put him there, there do, good enough for now. Now you'll be able to fight each other in this map. But there is another way of doing skybox that I'm not sure many people know. And what you can do, make a new um, part to it, is you can also, instead of just having a whole part full like this, you can just have one part and it still works perfectly fine. Okay, so I'll like, make a new one. Control H, 32. And this one we're going to have like a little, just a room. So it'll be a room with a little like skylight, just there. I'm, I'm going to teach you a new um, thing that I haven't taught you in any other tutorial yet, I don't think. Is if you spawn, a, if you make a block, the size that you want it, you s the size that you want your skylight to be, then move it up to the middle, then press enter. You'll see there that that's been, that's there now, and it's the size that you want it. But now what happens, if you right click and click carve, it will carve a hole into this, into this part here. Okay, but now what happens, if you delete this, you can see that now there's a hole here. So then, you can do it manually, it makes it much more neater. But I did it this way because it's faster for the tutorial. So now I'm going to make that the size of here. Change it to skybox. Press enter. And now this works perfectly fine. Just put, put a couple of spawn points in it. If you want to move these separately, you can always just go tools, ungroup, then ungroup again, and you can move these separately, like so. Alright, make this guy CT. Control towers, where is it? Oh, there it is. Click apply. Rotate him around. Like so. And now this map's perfectly fine to play in. By the way, you don't need two light environments. If you have two, it sometimes makes it really bad and doesn't work. So that light, that light environment will still work for this room. Okay? Now this map will be perfectly fine to play in. But you won't from if you want to get from this side to this side, you won't be able to. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to put water Okay, I'm back. As you can see, the shadow is there, but there's light there, and it's all been textured. Um, we're going to move to the second room now, and you can see the lights come down at an angle onto that bit there, and the, the skybox is there. 
the other room is over there and it's coming down at the angle that I put it at for the environment light. 